Your business needs help. 56.1 million employees are employed by small businesses in the United States, and 99% of all U.S. establishments are small businesses under 250 employees. That means that your business should be listening to the only podcast dedicated to small business success. That's Growth Success Radio, growthsuccessradio.com. Welcome to this week's episode of Growth Success Radio. All right, good morning. This is Growth Success Radio, episode 16. We are live with you a little bit earlier this morning to uh, accommodate our guest who goes on the air on KC101 in New Haven. There she is um, in, in a little while. So um, this is episode 16. I think I said that already. But um, this is, we're going to be talking to Ashley Cavalier. Is that right? Yeah. Cavalier. You forgot, but that's okay. I forgot what? An E. I know. I, I saw that yesterday, and I'm, I was lazy and didn't edit. Uh, oh. But that was the only place I forgot the E. Everywhere else, I got the E. You got the E. That's spelled like the point. I got, I'm, I'm not. I was a good speller in second grade. That was about the extent of it. You're a good speller. By the way, Scott, nobody can see you. All we can see is the... I know. I'm getting ready to change it. You guys are talking to me. It's confusing oh. me. It's throwing me off. Oh, this video thing is, like, stressful. I got to make sure my hair looks good. Okay. I know. On, ra- on radio, you don't have to do that, right? No. I could just pull up in sweatpants. I'm good. Well, I have sweatpants on, but you can't. Yeah. Do that. that doesn't have that problem. His hair always looks good. That's right. It's <laughs> it does look good. It does. That's right. So this show is sponsored by Trigger Insurance and Scott Gumbar Digital Marketing Agency. Live every Friday, usually at 10 a.m. Uh, today we're on 9 a.m. because Ashley has to go on the air at 10 a.m. So she's spending an extra hour with us on the air. Um, you can also listen and watch past shows on Growth Success Radios. I think I said past, past shows. Um, Eugene, tell us about Traeger Insurance. Sure. I am co-owner of Traeger Insurance. We're based out of Meriden, Connecticut. We're an independent agency, meaning we can insure just about anything or anyone because um, we can find any markets out there. Um, and then my role within the agency is as president of commercial lines. So my job is to grow the commercial lines business and help businesses cover the what ifs in life. Okay, awesome. Uh, as I mentioned, I am a, a digital marketing agency, uh, which means I help clients find more. I help businesses find more clients using the internet. I also build websites, right, Eugene? Yes. Apparently, our BNI doesn't know that, but. Yes, I do. Um, and uh, we're on here every week, Friday mornings. Uh, we well, we're off on Christmas. Sorry, we won't be doing this live on Christmas. I apologize ahead of time. Um, Eugene wanted to, but can't do it. Uh, Eugene, any any, any updates in the insurance world? Yes. So the state of the Department of Insurance in Connecticut just came out with a warning to all insurance companies that they can't raise prices or any type of price fluctuation based on the person's insurance buying habits. So in layman's terms, what that means is if you have two people of the same risk mm. and the same loss history, if one person shops for insurance more than the other person, the person that shops more would have to pay more for insurance. The state of Connecticut said, no, you can't do that. That's discriminatory. And also, mm-hmm. there's a new new startup started in New York. It's called Lemonade. I just read about it today, actually. And they're trying to change the insurance world by doing peer-to-peer insurance. So they haven't released wow. all the details yet, but that's something to watch watch out for. They just got $13 million in funding. So wow. So from Lemonade. I need to start a peer-to-peer pizza company. There you go. <laughs> Um, 
I don't have a lot of updates in the social media world. Surprisingly, it's been a slow front. Google Plus is testing their new uh, layout, and I know probably most people are like, Google Plus, what's that? Haven't been on there in years. But um, th that kind of sig signals to me that they're not planning on going anywhere. They've broken off pieces, so Google Hangouts is separate now, but they've broken off a few pieces, and um, they're sticking with it, it looks like. Uh, there was an interesting argument on here just a few days ago about whether or not Google Plus is still relevant, and there's some very passionate people about it, so interesting stuff. Um, <clears throat> all right, enough about us. You hear about us every week. You know, we have Ashley Cavalier with an E at the end, and uh, she is a she has her own show on KC101. You can actually see the KC101 logo in the background there, and we already have a question. Um, for Eugene, so we'll get to that in a few moments, uh, Roxanne. Um, actually, tell us about yourself. So, yeah, I do uh, middays here. I'm on air for KC101, 10 to 3. Um, I'm also production director, production and creative services director is my title. Um, so I take care of all the commercials that come through for um, KC101, 960 WELI, and ESPN Radio 1300. Um, I'm also, so the creative services part of that is imaging. So, um, you know, when you hear a radio station in between songs, you hear people talking, uh, you hear like Casey 101, like stuff like that. I'll, uh, I'll produce that kind of stuff. Um, and then I do a lot of national voiceover work for different clients like Macy's and, uh, words with friends like Zynga, um, and, and what's called our total traffic and weather networks. So there's just a lot of random stuff I do. Wait, you do Words with Friends? Yeah, so, uh, you know, Zynga, the company that created yeah. Words with Friends, they were doing, like, this whole uh, campaign last year on um, iHeartMedia, which is the station, which is the company that I work for. Um, and they needed a voice for it, and uh, I was the voice for it. So it was pretty cool. I played a lot of Words with Friends. I used to. I play yeah. Trivia Crack now. Trivia like, Crack is good. Yeah, it pisses me off sometimes. When I get stuck on on um, art questions all the time. Oh, art questions! Art. Some of those art questions are hard. Surprisingly, I'm good at science, and I don't know why, but I'm I'm happy. About I'm it. only good at entertainment and sports. Sports is my worst one. All right, let's play. Uh, <laughs> this whole meeting is gonna be trivia crack. Trivia crack. We're going to just start spinning questions. Uh, speaking of questions, if you do have a question, remember, actually, it's easier now. You see the little backslash there. So um, Roxanne got it right. You just click the backslash, backslash. I can't talk this morning. It's too early for me. And then select the first option, which is Q, and then type in your question. And then this way, we can highlight it like we can do with Roxanne's. Uh, you'll see it on the left side. Also, if you have not already, if you could tell a little bird, I think almost everybody did. And and we have some um, we have some ghost watchers too. Well, we have one right now. So <laughs> if that person would, yeah, you, if you're going on incognito mode, we don't know who you are. Um, so if you want to join us and ask Ashley some questions, um, not so much Eugene, just ask Ashley. This is Ask Ashley Day. That's like from all that. Remember back in the day, Amanda Bynes had a skit called Ask mm -hmm. Ashley. Did she? Yeah, I wasn't wasn't much of a Amanda Bynes person, so you know. Jimmy Larson joined us. I convinced somebody to join us. Good morning, Jimmy. Um, so we'll, we'll just start an interview. Um, so, yeah, you told us about your, your, on, your Ashley on Air. So what is Ashley on Air about? Is there a theme to your show? Do you have, uh, you know, something you do during the show that nobody else is doing or nobody else in the area is doing? Or uh, we do throwback Thursdays on Thursdays, so we we play throwbacks during my show, um, and it has now been so popular that we we push it all the way through until seven o'clock, um, and, and into the other guy's show. So that's fun. I love doing throwback Thursday. I because I, I think music is so awesome. It just brings you back to like all these memories, and that's what I love about the throwbacks. You know, um, I do that. I have. Uh, we have Elvis Duran and the KC 101 Morning Show on in the morning, um, so I'll play Danielle Sleaze during my show, or it's now called the Daily Entertainment Report. Um, I also do a quick fix every day, so at 3.40, that's just on the days that we don't do Throwback Thursday, it's just one throwback for the day. Um, you know, I do giveaways um, and fun stuff like that. I talk about beauty and fashion and all that stuff, um, you know, and celebrity gossip, but to me, 
my favorite thing is like community events and, and animal rescue. I'm really big with that. So I do Ashley's Paws for a Cause. Um, I foster dogs. Um, and, I, and I try to just get the word out there about positivity a lot, you know, so whether it be like um, Special Olympics or, or Pet Rescue or um, in a charity that's going on. I like talking about that kind of stuff, too. In community, definitely. Like, uh, there was there was just this thing that happened on Metro North. Did you see that where the... Oh, the club? Glee Club? Yeah. yeah. So I just, like, love showing the listeners that kind of stuff, you know, stuff that's going on in our community that can make you smile. Awesome. We like smiling. Well, I don't like smiling, but most people like smiling. Most people. I smile on the inside. <laughs> Come on, Scott, you smile. You smile all the time. I smiled for the group portrait at uh, BNI the other day, so. I know, and I think that guy chose, like, the worst possible picture of all of us. Yeah. From what I saw. I think we were all I mean, smiling as the as the, gump, the garbage truck was backing up. I think that's when everybody started smiling. Well, we have plenty of attorneys, so we'll be, we would have all been millionaires. Yeah, so, a Ashley. Yes. What made you get into radio out of all the things you could have done in the world? Um... <laughs> that's a good question there are so many you know it's funny my mom found this list yesterday that I wrote when I was 16 of things that I want to do in life and there are so many things that I wanted to do and still that I want to do but radio just uh just happened I went to Connecticut School of Broadcasting um and I also went to Southern um but I, I during my um this um, summer of my sophomore year, I went to Connecticut School of Broadcasting, and I loved it, and um, I became an intern here in 2007, and I just continued on since then, but yeah, I wanted to be a special ed teacher, I wanted to to um, do so much stuff, but this is what I do, so um, I, that, like I was saying before, I, I, you know, I love it, but I also love the fact that I could use the medium for other things that I love, you know, so I could use it for my love of animals. I could use it for my love of music. I could use it for my love of uh, other organizations that are happening. You know what I mean? So I love that about it. I figure I could just do it all through radio. That's yeah. good. You got you got a broad reach. Get to a lot of people yeah. that way. Yes. So what are some of the benefits of radio advertising and? Um, do you still feel that radio advertising works with, uh, you know, what I do? Because there are, there are definitely two sides of the pendulum there, um, there where people in my world, digital marketing world, feel that radio, newspaper, and TV don't work anymore. I don't think that's true at all. I think radio is an amazing way to advertise. And there are so many different ways you could do it now. You know, it's not just a, a commercial, you know. We involve um, web in there so much. Uh, we do endorsements, which I think is a great thing. Um, you know, so if I I have my listener base, our target audience are women, like 25 to 50, a ton of women. Um, and during my show, I get a lot of stay-at-home moms or, um, you know, women work at work. So a lot of people say, you know, I feel like you're my best friend. I feel like we, I feel like I know you and stuff like that. So if you had... Uh, you know, a company like a hair salon or, or, or a restaurant or whatever it may be, and I say that I like it, and I honestly and truly do because I'm not going to endorse something I don't like, I think that's a great way for our listeners to connect with that product. Um, and again, like I said, you could do a lot of stuff with the web too, um, a lot of directing people back to our website, whether it be for ga uh, games or like giveaways. Um, but I, we have a really big reach here, and I think that it's, advertising is awesome, awesome. There, are, uh, like we on um, 960 WELI, we have this craft beer festival thing that Vinny Penn is doing, um, and to be a sponsor for that is a huge thing, you know. Especially if you're a restaurant, we do have a sponsor now, Brew and Steak Kings. They were just here this morning uh, doing a spot with me, so um, I think that it's it's uh, really beneficial, you know. That's interesting you said this morning. I think a lot of people have this misconception that radio show hosts are only there for their radio show, four hours usually, right? That's not uh, true, though, right? Um, um, no, it's not. But but the only reason I'm up this early is for you guys. Usually I roll in here at like 9.55. But I, 
Your you guys are special. Guys. So, but I, but I do my show's over at three. But yeah, I don't leave until six on Fridays. It could be even like eight or nine. You know, it gets really Fridays are rough. So, um, I came in early for you guys. And oh, I had man. We added an extra hour to her Friday, Eugene. I don't know. Yeah. You did. I know. <laughs> okay. So, what type of stuff do you do um, after your show ends? So, I'm like from three to six, what do you um, do? I do production and 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 imaging. So, uh, like I said, I I take care of all the commercials that come through. So, um, if you're listening to PC 101, 960 WLI, ESPN Radio 1300, all the commercials that you hear on those three stations come through me. Um, whether it be me producing them, voicing them, just dubbing them into our system, every single commercial has gone through me. So I have to take care of all that. Um, I have to take care of all um, the imaging pieces. So if we're doing a promo, um, you know, I'll, ma I'll, I'll make those. So I, sometimes I'll write the copy. I'll send it off to our voiceover people. I'll get it back. I'll edit it, produce it, put it on air. Um, and then, and then all the voiceover that I do, I, I do a ton of national voiceover work. So by the end of the day, I just want to go home and play with my dogs and not talk to anyone. Okay, <laughs> we we have do a have a question for you. for you. So there it is. Oh, that was the wrong one. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Hang on. You, you, That's the one I have to, you answer. have to answer that one too, Ashley. Well, so the not really question is... The, the question is, do you make appearances for the radio station when they're at a promo? Yeah, for sure. Um, I was just at Planet Fitness in Orange two days ago. Uh, you know, and that's another way that advertising is great on, on, on radio because you can actually go to the place and be there and tell the listeners to come on down because we've got prizes and stuff like that. Um, yeah, so is that Planet Fitness Orange. Um, Yesterday we went to, I know you guys were there, or Eugene was, the Jordan's Furniture opening thing. Um, yeah, we go a lot of places. We love going places. That's that's such a fun part of our job and meeting people, you know. Yes. you. And uh, the, big, the big event you guys do is the Stuff, stuff of Bus. Sorry, I keep fixing this. I can't get. Oh. Every, every Thanksgiving you guys do that. How long have you guys been doing this? This is our 25th time. anniversary. I'm sitting on the phone. Wow. Yeah, this is our 25th anniversary this year. So um, it's in the Hamden Plaza, and uh, it's fun. It's fun. It's like, you know, we collect non-perishables, frozen turkeys, stuff like that, monetary donations, and all goes to the Connecticut Food Bank. Um, and we got a lot this year, so I'm really happy about that. That's a fun event that we do. And we have our um, KC101 concert that we do as well. Um, this year we had Tori Kelly, Alessia Cara, and this girl Dea. So it's fun. I love it. I love meeting people. That's good. So tell us, tell us about being a radio person. One thing about being a radio personality that you wish uh, or you would like other people to know that they probably don't know, besides having the ability to talk properly. Um, I don't even think you really need that these days. No. Uh, uh, you know, it's funny. I, I was talking about this yesterday with uh, this hair salon. We went to uh, Who Wanna Advertise, and they were like, you know what? So many people just think hairdressers are, are vain, and they just care about beauty and, and looks. And they're like, it's not true. Like, you know, we honestly and truly care about the person and how they feel. And sometimes I feel like people might get the wrong image about media and think like, oh, we just care about the Kardashians or Justin Bieber's new song, and that's completely not true. Like, we honestly and truly talk about what we care about like I mentioned before like the animals and, and, and Special Olympics and uh, therapeutic horseback riding stuff like that that's really important to me um, that's what I care about so I want people to know that we're not just doing it because it's a fun job I mean yeah it's awesome that it's fun but we actually want to make a difference at least a good amount of us do I believe that because I hear um, other radio show hosts uh, you know, they talk about different, um, and I'm I'm actually friends with Vinny Penn on on uh, Facebook too, and I see all the stuff he does. Um, so yeah, it, it, I know I, I can see that where a lot of you guys, most of you, and I'm sure that just like any other business, there's a few people that are, that are spoil it for the bunch. But um, <sighs> yeah, Vinny Penn's on air right now. He's right over he's there. Bring your computer over there. Let's see what he's doing. Yeah. I think he's uh 
I think he's still on air. The on air lights on. Wait, yeah, can't go in there. I'll go in there towards the end when he gets off. I'm just kidding. I don't want to. Oh, okay. <laughs> Live on air. Imagine on air. Huh? Imagine if we interrupted his show with our show right now. What would happen? I think it's awesome. Some, Let's do it. Somebody would get fired. Well, it won't be me. Unless I fire myself. <laughs> Eugene yeah. and I are, are owners, so we can't get fired. No, we can't. And we have no board to fire That's us, right. so we definitely can't get fired. That's right. So you kind of mentioned it already, asked you, is there any other voiceover work that you do or that you want to do? down the road um my dream is to be see i'm telling you i have so many dreams i want to be a cartoon character voice so bad i would love to be i'm obsessed with cartoons so all i watch literally come to my house and watch nickelodeon comedy central or uh cartoon network or disney no joke <laughs> i love them so i wish i could be a cartoon character maybe one day so i'm building up you know my my portfolio. Yeah, so I have a website, ashleyonair.com, and I have, you know, some audio clips on there. Um, and I like doing character voices, you know, when you have commercials uh, w where they need a character play. I like doing that. Um, so, yeah, I love to be a cartoon character. What type of characters do you do? Uh, I don't know. I mean... Do you have oh, a character wow. name? Like a character? Like an alter ego? <laughs> Maybe. I'm not doing them, though. Why not? No way. See, I have to get used to it. I, I, I can't. So you can't do it when we're on camera? You can only do it when you're on radio? Exactly. See, Come on. Let's, let's, let's put something up over the camera and then do it. No, they're not even, like, any, like, like set voices. Just, I don't know. I just want to do it. Do you watch Bob's Burgers ever? Uh, you know, um, no. I've seen it on Netflix or Hulu, one of those, and I was going to, but I just haven't. All right, well, then my reference doesn't matter. But it would st we'd still be interested. Well, the little girl with the bunny ears, she is like my the exact kind of kind of cartoon character I would love to do. So. So if Disney called you today and said, Ashley, we've got the perfect cartoon character for you, you'd go running. If it was perfect, I think I'd have to take that opportunity. I love my job, and I wouldn't want to leave it for anything, but that's pretty cool. It's Disney. Okay, so it's my, yeah, it's Disney. Let's be serious. Yeah, turn it down. Yeah, I would. So generating winners, um, you should check out their site sometimes, speaking of causes. So they they help parents of teens um, get through the teen years, basically, short story. Uh, they have a really interesting blab next week, by the way, Monday at 1230, so you'll be on air, but um, they are going to have a blab about the recent terror attacks and how do you talk to your kids about it. So this is one of their members, Colleen. What is the craziest thing that's ever happened on the air? I had a guy call me up to propose to his wife on my show. That was really cool. Um, and she said yes. Well, I she like, better. Oh, man, if she says no, this is going to ruin it. But no, she said yes, and it was really, really sweet. I loved it. And she also has another question that she didn't format properly. Shame on you, Colleen. What would you tell kids who aspire to be on the radio? Um, just to just to keep trying, you know, make demos, play with your voice a lot. Um, if you heard the way I I started eight years ago, if you heard the way I sounded then. I sounded like a little squeaky toy, and uh, you know you just have to keep keep you know print out a script and be in the car or or turn your phone on and and turn on the microphone and just say that script and say it in so many different ways. You know you could you could say like live blabcast growth success radio or live blab blabcast growth success radio. You know like play with different inflections, play with the way that you're reading the script, play with your own voice, and just kind of find yourself. Um, you know, people people might pass me in the car and think I'm crazy because I'm talking to myself, or or if I'm with someone and I hear someone say something on the radio and I and I think like they inflected it wrong, I repeat it to myself and people are like, "Are do you have like an issue right now?" But uh, you just kind of 
definitely just work on, on that kind of stuff. And getting an internship, too, is really, really, really helpful. I think mostly everybody I work with at one point was an intern here. Um, so I don't know how old their who, their child is, but um, if they're old enough to get an internship, absolutely positively do an internship. Um, but if they're still young, yeah, just, you know, play around with your voice. That They have um, free, like, online radio things you could do, like have your own little radio show or have these kind of lab cats. You and I have to start playing with our voices. Just work on your voice and stuff. I make it. I'll make my voice a little deeper. Yeah, I talk what? like Barry White. Yeah. <laughs> so, what other voiceover work do you do besides radio? Um, so there's this um, part of iHeartMedia called Total Traffic and Weather Network, um, and basically, so when you listen to a radio and you hear people say, "Okay, this traffic report is powered by a subway." Then you hear the traffic, and then it goes into a 15-second subway commercial. That's Total Traffic and Weather Network. So I do Total Traffic and Weather Network for the entire country. So um, I'll get probably, mm -hmm. like yesterday I did 50 commercials, 53 for, like, the country, um, just just for different different random clients that are doing Total Traffic and Weather Network. Um, so, so TTWN is a big thing. Um, Creative Services Group, that's another portion of iHeartMedia that I do stuff for, like like the Zynga, like the Macy's, um, uh, what is the other, other clients do there? The uh, commercial. The Edge. Yeah. Yeah, I did an Edge TV commercial. Uh, that was really fun. So basically what happened with that was I did their radio commercial, and they're like, can we use your radio commercial on TV? And I'm like, yeah, absolutely. Um, so they, they used it on TV. Uh, I did another TV commercial for this company in like Kentucky. So a lot of random things come by and, and, and people reach out. How do so people find, really find your that. specific voice? Like, how does Kentucky find you? Um, how does like, Kentucky a lot of find you? Huh? Um, so yeah, there are a lot of ways. There, there are a bunch of, and to answer that woman's question on to how to get into voiceover or radio, this is another good thing. They have a ton of websites. They have like, um, voices123, voicebunny.com, um, and stuff like that. And you can, you can put your demo up there and people can hear you. Um, but as far as where most of it comes from for me is within networking with iHeartMedia. So, um, since I'm a producer, we have uh, this thing called Dusties, and it's within iHeartMedia, and it's a bunch of the best producers in the country are part of this email, and, you know, if we need help voicing a script, say I get a script that comes down that needs, like, an elf voice or a Santa voice, I'll go to this group, and I'll be like, hey, can, every, can anyone, like, throw me a Santa voice? Like, here's the script, you know, and they'll do it for free, um, you know, because we all work together. I mean, sometimes there are paying ones that come through. Um, but if, if they have a paid gig that comes through, they've heard me before. I've done a spot for them before, and they're like, "Here, yeah, here's this," you know, or they know someone who who needs something done. Mm -hmm. So, uh, which do you that. enjoy more, radio work or voiceover work? I checked out all these questions before. Yeah, voiceover so work, and why is voiceover that? work. Yeah. Um. Oh, see. Okay, it's kind of like a toss-up. Sorry, I'm sitting on the floor. Um, but I do love voiceover work because you can just do so much with your voice, and you can you could deliver a message in a certain way. You know, I just feel like if someone heard a subway commercial voiced by one person and then voiced by another person, they could get a totally different message. Um, and I like I just enjoy sitting in my studio and voicing things all day. Um, but again, you know, I do love the radio side of things because I have such a huge platform for, you know, things that I want to talk about. Um, so that, that's a, that is a toss-up, but uh, I do like voiceover work a lot. A okay. lot. Fair. So. It is fair. Now, yeah. Ashley, who was your favorite celebrity to interview and why? Um, my favorite. Uh, oh, gosh, I have a lot. But my favorite celebrity to meet was definitely Pitbull. I love him. He was the coolest freaking dude. So I went, um, 
I was actually just hired as a part-timer, and I wasn't 21 yet. I was like 19 or 20, and he came to do our KC 101 Ticket to Ride back in the day, and he wasn't super popular mm-hmm. yet. He just had that like hotel room song out, and uh, he came up to us, and he was like, oh, hey, guys, can can I bring you back to my trailer? I'll make you a drink. Like, you're going to make us a drink? Do you want us to make you a drink? So um i didn't drink because i wasn't 21 and now i like regret it i'm like man i could have had a drink with pitbull like what uh so that was fun because he was a really cool down-to-earth guy and i um i love spanish music i I love him um but uh i actually i wish you could turn the camera around i don't think i can on my laptop but um hold on i'll show you so all these things in my office all these, these, those are all like different artists that have come in here. I'll give you a little tour really quick. Yeah. So there's my pink fridge that my dad and I painted. And there's my computer and my board and, and my microphone. This is not where I do my show from. This is where I do all the production from. Um, and then my ugly curtains from like the 1940s that are still up. But um, forgot my question. What was my question? What was it? His favorite celebrity interview. What? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so those celebrities on the wall, a lot of those came came by or I interviewed them. Bruno Mars. Bruno Mars is a really cool guy. Um, he's really down to earth, and he is so talented. Um, and, and there are a group of artists who are actually all friends, and they all have such a great heart. Um, Colby Calais, Sarah Bareilles, um, Andy Grammer. And uh, uh, Christina Perry. Christina Perry is such a girl crush on. She was so awesome. Um, and, and, and then those, Christina Perry, Colby Calais, and, and Andy Graham are all, are just, have the biggest hearts. And, and they're in the music business for the right reasons. And the, the real reasons, they're just so kind. So I love them. And, and you can check out some artist interviews I've done too at um, ashleyanair.com and check them out. But. There have been a lot of really nice artists. Matt yeah. Nathanson. Do you know who Matt Nathanson is? All right. Well, you should check him out because he is the nicest guy. Uh, there have been a lot. There have been a lot. But there, there of course, have been ones who, you know, you don't That's going to be the next question. Which That's the follow-up question. <laughs> I, I knew that was going to be the answer. I, I can't I really knew, say I knew it too. that. That's why I put that question in there. I knew it was going to be something like that. Sorry. Uh, no, um, well, let's rephrase yeah. it. What? So basically, but basically, you know, when I talk, go no, go ahead. Cause what? I think my internet's being weird. When I talk to this person, it's like, okay, um, you know, how are you? Good. Okay. So, uh, h- how are you liking touring? Good. All right, dude. Like, give me something to work with. You know what I mean? It was a guy. Yeah. Uh, so it was, it wasn't like- the best one. An interview with John Mayer. It wasn't an interview with, with John point Mayer. Out that no. Eugene said that and not Ashley. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I, too. Yeah. I feel like we're uh, one of those Mayer, uh, radio cool. shows right now. We're trying to pressure into an answer that yeah. she doesn't want to give. So let's rephrase wow. that question. Which interview <laughs> do you wish you did better at? And who was the less celebrity? No, you wish you the would do better. I did did better a, at. You wish you did a better interview. Oh, great way to pose that question. Um, I'm trying to get the juice, Scott. <laughs> um, I wish I did a little bit better with uh, Joe Jonas. Okay. I forgot about those guys. He, yeah. Yeah, I feel like we were... Uh, we weren't really on the same page for that interview, but, you know, he was a nice guy. He has a new band now called DNCE. So he's uh, he was just on Elvis Duran in the morning show this morning. It's, it must so be hard to well. connect with everybody. You can't, it's hard to, sometimes you just can't make that connection. No, there was this group, Cobra Starship, who really don't have anything out right now, but Um, I was interviewing them and I was saying good and cool at the same time. So I was like, oh, that's gruel. And they turned to each other and they were like, she just said gruel. And I'm like, 
uh, I'm right here, like I could hear you. And then they caught on that I heard them and then they just thought it was the funniest thing ever. But I'm like, what? I said gruel, it's a word. word now. So. That's right, we're adding yeah. it to the Urban Dictionary now, as we speak. Yeah. So, um, cool. Ashley, what would you like for the for the listeners of the show and other people are going to listen to it after, by the way, because we this gets uploaded to iTunes and uh, a couple other places um, about Ashley's pause for cause. Oh. Um, so I am a foster mom for Thank Dog Rescue. Um, Thank Dog Rescue is a really amazing organization. What they do is they pull dogs from shelters or from bad situations and they're all foster based so all of their dogs go to fosters um and you know the foster dog that i have right now his name is carter and he is a he is a dachshund pit bull which is a, such a strange mix i'm going to show you a picture um he's a uh, 25 pounds mm -hmm. uh so you know With what a dachshund is a, like the wiener dog yeah yeah, he's, wow. he's a pit bull. Here he is. That's kind of cute. Yeah. Yeah, he's tiny. Well, he's, I mean, it's hard to I tell. Know, from he's a freaking picture. adorable. Look at that. You have a video? Let's see the video. Okay. Uh, I do have a video. I got him pajamas. Don't make fun of my dog. Yeah, it's cute. Oh, shoot. Oh, I'm rubbing your jammies. I got him. I've never had a small dog in my life. I grew up on a farm, actually, and I've always had, like, horses and cows and pigs and sheep and stuff like that. But we always had huge dogs, like German Shepherds. Um, but I never had a small dog, so I went out and bought him pajamas. I don't know. That might constitute what else did uh, we do with a small dog? a little bit. At least they're, yeah. not the, they're not the pink bunny pajamas <laughs> from the Christmas oh. story, at least. You still have those? No. Oh, yeah. You still have the horse? Huh? I remember your family had a horse. I don't have that horse anymore. Yeah, his name was Willie. He died. But we, yeah, we had a, we had horses. Um, I love that's that's where my love of animals came from. From my grandpa, who had, you know, he he, um, had a farm and uh, he raised cattle, which makes me sad because I hate that. But um, we now have the biggest chestnut tree farm in New England, which is awesome. Uh, so yeah, I love that kind of life. So how would other people get involved outside. with Ashley's Pause for a Cause? Oh, okay. Back to that. Okay. Um, so, okay. So I foster for Thank Dog Rescue, and I also volunteer at New Haven Animal Shelter. Uh, so what I do is I'll go to New Haven Animal Shelter. I'll go to Wallingford Animal Shelter. Uh, I'll do thank, thank Dog Rescue, and I'll take videos of the dogs and I'll or cats or, or whatever animal it may be um, and, and post them online. And if anyone wants to get involved, I mean, you can – you can volunteer at your local shelter. You could volunteer to foster, which is so rewarding. People always ask me how, how I do it. How do you not get attached? You do get attached, but um, in the long run, like for Carter, I've had him since April. It's going to be really hard because I love him, but uh, you know that they're going to a good, a good home. And, and, you know, having a dog is not like a year commitment. It's a lifelong, their lifelong commitment. Um, so people can volunteer. They could adopt. They could foster. And honestly, just social media, just sharing posts of, of dogs and, and animals in need, that's what gets them home. Like, it's really insane. Sharing them on social media gets them home. So those are a lot of things that you could do for that. And, and, and you could go to my page, again, AshleyOnAir.com. The, the dogs on there have gotten adopted. Um, but if anyone knows anyone looking, they can always email me, Ashley. Awesome. So how that. many dogs do you have in your care right now? Okay. Um, only I have one foster. I only do one at a time. I, I I have my own dog as well. His name is Brooks. He's the love of my life. And he uh she had that all, Oh, okay, that's your screen so. You. I was gonna say you had it all queued up already. I think you were planning it, but it's your screen. That's okay. Well, yeah, it's my screen favorite. Um <laughs> so yeah, I have a dog, Brooks, a cat, Mitty, who actually has extra toes. And then I have my foster dog, Carter. He's my fourth foster dog I've ever had. So um, we're going to take a little break. So after any, that. any prospective um, families for him? Or? Yeah, the thing with Carter is he has a little bit of um, uh, separation anxiety. So I want to find the perfect home for him. You know, I don't want to just take anyone who wants to 
adopt him. I want to make sure he's gotcha. going to be good for life, you know? Yeah. I you may be dogs? in the market for one. Um, I have three children age kids and one adult age child. So um, one, five, and ten, and then a 20-year-old. The 20-year-old actually has dogs, but um, my wife doesn't really like animals. Um, so that makes it a challenge. I've finally gotten her to say, you can get a dog, but I'm not taking care of it. So which is code for it. you bring a dog in this house and it does anything i'm going to be really pissed at you but um mm -hmm. we're getting closer i think you know i want to i want to i I'm not, i really don't want to train a dog right now but i do want to have the kids be around a dog that's what i was thinking you a younger adopt adult, an adult. That's been trained already yeah no i don't have a dog my parents had one when i, when I lived with them they still have it yeah it's always like cash Good job, his, his name is cash boy. Yep, with a K. Cash with a K. Aww. Yeah, me and Eugene are, we were, we were BFFs back in the day. We are BFFs. We still are. BFFs 4L. Isn't that the cool way to say it? <laughs> I didn't even know BFF was still L. cool, but okay. All right, you, I know. Yeah, you should know that. Yeah, I'm cool. Right. <laughs> You got a cool headset, though. I don't need to get a headset like yours. I, I'm, I'm sure Ashley has a much cooler headset than mine. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I don't use a headset. No? I don't you use, use a headset. But you probably have a high-quality mic, I'm sure. Yeah. We do. We do have We do have good mics, but I'm, uh, I'm, I think I'm the only one on air here who doesn't use a headphone. Mm. So I like should be using headphones. I don't know why he's not. Your, your show that you're filming or that recording today, is it going to be for today or is it like another day? No, it's today. I'm really there. I'm really live, really answering phone calls, really getting winners, really talking about stuff that's really going on. For some reason, I thought it was recorded like a day before. So your show today would be Monday's show, I guess. No. It's, I'm really there. So now it's you have really to listen, be today. Yeah, I have to listen. Yeah. Yeah. Download. We do. So you guys can call up and be on air. Do you and have any hi. idea? Can they tell how many people are listening through iHeartRadio or through the internet? Um, so there are a couple different ways to, to track people um, for, for radio. Um, it's called uh, Personal People Meter, PPM. Um, and what that is, is just like, uh, the, they're like random surveys that give these people these little meters and they put them on and they wear them and it'll pick up the frequencies. Um, then there's also diary, which is a lot like the Nielsen, the Nielsen for TV, um, where the people who get it will write down what they listen to for how long, for why they didn't want to, you know what I mean? Um, so Casey 101 is in diary, so... We get all the people who write things down. Um, you can tell how many people are streaming. I, I believe how many people are on the app. I'm not 100% sure how they do that, um, but I guarantee you. I, I do the voice of North Pole Radio now along with Santa. So if you have the iHeartRadio app and you like Christmas music, uh, just type in North Pole Radio and uh, it's me and Santa talking. Yeah, don't, not, don't shake your head because I know you like it. It's too much. Um, and that's one of the biggest, uh, biggest um, iHeart stations for the, the season, I obviously. I can't deal with that much Christmas music. Radio, so. you, know, you walk into any store now, it's all just Christmas music and Mariah Carey half the time. Or in sync, Merry Christmas. I don't think I've ever holidays. heard that one. That's my favorite. Um, let's, let's not, let's not encourage that. Um, well, her, the Throwback Thursday is going to be all in sync, just for me. Yeah, and say, yeah, because yes. you're a JT. Now fan. it all makes sense. I know. <laughs> it's all starting to come together now. Uh, so, do you know where your your furthest listener, like the furthest from our area, do you know where that person is? Uh, with iHeartRadio, you can listen wherever. I've had people from so many yes. different countries. Are you familiar with Bitly? So Bitly, yeah. So. Um, we post on our blog. Uh, the jocks have to post on our blog every day. Um, we have to post uh, stories. 
and then I turn it into a bit.ly so I could see where people are clicking from. And they're all over the world, not just the country. They're everywhere, which is really cool. And that's what I love about iHeartMedia, and that's what I also love about before when you were talking about why advertising works, is especially with iHeart, you can hear the commercial anywhere, anywhere in the world. I mean, granted, it wouldn't benefit certain people, but other people, if you want anyone to hear it, they can, you know. So I think that's really cool what, that that radio has gone digital like that, and, and it could reach so many different people in so many different ways. Awesome. Eugene has a question he wants to ask you, though. Yes. I think she knows yeah. which one it is. When is Growth what? Success Radio going to be on Ashley on Air? Oh, man. I don't know. You know what? I'll tell people that I was on this today. I'll talk about it, and uh, I'll tell them I was on it. It'll and, be on uh, iTunes probably later iTunes? today, definitely by tomorrow. And um, automatically YouTube right after the show. Not right after. Come on. Give me give me a minute, Eugene. Jeez. Uh, so, yeah, it'll be on YouTube. It'll be on growthsuccessradio.com. I, it'll be on Where Google Play starting next year because Google Play is launching a podcast as well. Okay. So it'll be on there sometime early next year. Um, a few other smaller, lesser-known podcast carriers. In, in our website? Yeah, said that, growthsuccessradio.com. Oh, Sorry. I apologize. Yeah. So we have uh, Fire. Did he share these questions yeah. with you as well? No. I kept those secrets. No. Yeah, like we should have changed them up a little bit for, for Ashley, but that's all right. I, I changed one of them. Did you? Let me see. Oh, yeah, you did. Okay. Favorite okay. business book or uh, for you, any book? I don't know if you're into business books, but. I'm not into business books. My dad is the business guy, uh, but I love um, The Timekeeper by Mitch okay. Album. No, I have not. Is that uh, fiction? Yeah, I don't read a lot of fiction. I'm a boring it guy. Is. I also like comedy books like Chelsea Handler okay. and, and uh, Tina Fey. I would read if, you want a, if you want a good comedy book, but it's actually a business book, read the Ari Gold one, the gold standard. It's it's hilarious, okay. but it's a business book, but it's hilarious. All right. All right. See, business book kind of like, I don't really get through it, but I'll try. I'll try. Do you try watch the show Entourage at all? Yeah. I've seen you it. You know Ari Gold, pretty much he writes it in the way he talks. So it's basically him like cursing uh -huh. a lot of times and then making points about like how to okay. interact with people in business and negotiating and stuff like that. But it's it's funny. Like, all you right. laugh out loud. I'll check it out. Right. So what is your favorite activity outside of work? Uh, kind of have a little bit of a shopping issue lately. Been shopping a lot. On yourself Been spending or way for too gifts? much money. Uh, oh, myself. Well, I go out with great intentions, but I don't leave You can leave with your dog. Um, no, I yeah, I was going to say that's a really materialistic thing that I like to do. Uh, but, yeah, I love being – I honestly just love being home with my family or my dogs or my friends. I just bought a house last year, um, so I, I, I really enjoy being home and working on my house yeah. and being with the dogs and, and doing stuff like that, watching did, cartoons. Did, uh, did your dad sell you your house? Your dad's a realtor? <laughs> he owns um, – the Weicker Agency yeah. in Orange. Oh, wow. Wow, and nice. Haven and yeah. Favorite quote? What? Um, I don't know. How about a favorite I song? I, um, I know your favorite quote. Your quote that what? you say every time on radio. Hey, guys, this is Ashley. What? <laughs> That's my favorite quote of all time. Uh, I used to have a favorite quote back when I was in college, and I had this intern that was here yesterday, and she was like, oh, you know, I, I wanted to go to this party, but I had I had all this work to do, but I went to the party anyways. And I remember, like, in college, I was like, you could always relive, or you could always retake a class. You could never relive a party. Oh, but that's not my favorite quote anymore. But 
Um, I thought that was really funny. Uh, I don't know. I like uh, like fake quotes and 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 stuff like that. Um, no, wait. You know what? My favorite quote is. I just remembered. Everything is how it should be. I think that's really important. I have a little like you know those boxes, those like wooden things that they write quotes on that you could buy and they charge you way too much money. I bought one of those, and that's what it says, and it's just a reminder every day. I love it. Like you're you're where you're supposed to be right now. Awesome. Yeah, favorite but what song. What you say was my favorite song? Oh. I'm a really big Eminem fan. I adore him. I think he's a genius. Um, so. Honestly, anything from him, I think he, he is, is smart. So smart. He is smart. Yes, I, we can agree on that one. I think all of us can agree on that one. Eugene? Yeah, did you see my big Eminem poster? This is what I look at. This is my little, this is every day he looks at me. Where is he? Oh, uh, the, the big one, see? the recovery. Yeah, yeah I Wait, saw it. Oh, there, there he is. is. Yeah. He looks at me while I'm working every day. He's like, is ah, great job. I'm like, thanks. No, I haven't met Eminem, and that's like my number one goal in life. So uh, he's very guarded. If you ever see Eminem, let me know. Tough to tough to get in there. I yeah, know. He's a radio station. I'm serious. That. There you go. We actually started a new hip hop station um, here. It's called 100.9 The Beat, so you could listen. Uh, it, it comes in in New Haven, in the New Haven area. So we have nice. like, that. That's pretty cool. Nicole, yeah, Nicole, Nicole. Can't say her last name. Help me out there. Yeah. Logodicio. Yeah. Nicole, I went to school with her. She says hi. She works for uh, for Eugene. Yes. Poor, poor, poor Nicole. I know that's so yeah. crazy. It's such a small world. Her son is so beautiful. She's not she's listening in the office. On here? I don't. All right, Eugene's oh. got one more for you. Okay, so last question. One piece of advice you wish you knew before you started your radio career? Uh, to have confidence. You know, I didn't have a lot of confidence when I started in myself and my voice. Uh, and it kind of, I don't know, I just, I guess I didn't give myself the benefit of the doubt. And you could really do whatever you want to do, whatever you set your mind to. Um, if you just have confidence, you know, I'll hear myself, like I said, I sound like so shy and so quiet and I, and I know it grew over time and I'm absolutely, I think that's how it should be. But having confidence in this industry is important. And, you know, I would consider myself a pretty, pretty shy person, believe it or not. Uh, but on air, you kind of just got to let it out and be, be yourself and be okay with being who you are. I think that's true of anything you do. Yeah. So, Ashley, okay. thank you for joining us. I know you have to get on air. Um, before you jump off, though, where can how can people get a hold of you if they wanted to get a hold of you? Um. Well, I have all the social media stuff. Uh, they, but it, again, if you go to ashleyonair.com and you go to the contact, it's all it's all up there. Like on Ashley at casey1.com is my email. It's pretty easy. Uh, Instagram and Snapchat and Facebook and and. And all that is the same thing, Ashley. So I would love to talk to anybody. Awesome. Anything. Thank you for joining us. It's interesting because I yeah. think a lot of people do have a lot of misconceptions about what it is to be a radio show host. And um, it's you, you shed some light on that today. So thank you for that. Um, we are Growth Success Radio. We will be back next week at 10 a.m. Um, we're, we're working on the guests. We've had some changes in the schedule. So... Um, Okay, so, okay, Eugene, I was going to give you a chance to answer yeah. that after, but all right. Okay. Um, we're working on a guest for next week. We've had uh, a couple of changes in the schedule, so that put us in a little bit of a bind, but we'll come up with something. Don't worry. Eugene is really good about finding Warren Buffett and getting him on the air. Yes. Um, I was trying to meet that guy last night. It was hard. He was mobbed, and he had security and cops, and, I mean, he's worth a lot of money, Bummer. so a lot yes uh so thank yeah. you again everybody for joining us thank you for for those that hung out for the entire episode um roxanne and colleen for most of it thank you guys and josh for joining us last minute we appreciate it uh, josh is going to get me later for that one uh, i'm going to stop recording now <laughs>